Oh, America. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. There, at those sea-washed sunset gates, stands a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is imprisoned lightning, and her name, Liberty, mother of exiles. Oh, America, cries she with silent lips. Give me the ghosts of the people who you destroyed and whose nation you stole, that I might learn their ancient wisdom and be shown a pathway to solace. Give me the spirits of those who across dark seas you shipped here in shackles, that the bondage of history might be destroyed and they reunited with their forefathers. Give me land free of tenure, free of enclosure, land undefiled by cupidity's clasping claws, nor fire scorched by your endless wars, a place where place has not been usurped. Give me a simple home, which is not a rich man's castle, which is not a defense against life, but a confirmation of life itself. Give me a roof that will shelter love rather than protect avarice. Give me oceans which are not hunting grounds, continents which are not killing fields. Give me air unpolluted by the smokestacks of your unbridled commerce. Water untainted by your saccharine duplicity. Give me food, which is the fruit of honest labor, rather than the curse of abject lasciviousness. Give me love, which is not ersatz, which is not a prostitution, which is not perverted by your Hollywood heist. Give me your bodies free of vanity, bodies which are not silicon, not the crude patchwork of the surgeon's knife, nor shrouded by the purr of tawdry fashion. Cast off the obesity of Narcissus, that I might once see you naked and proud. Oh, America, Give me a dream, but not your dream, for first you must rewrite it. Oh, a black man in the White House, over one million incarcerated in the punitive jails of corporate America, land of the free. A black man in the White House, over two million labelled felon, never to escape the crippling shackles of the new slavery, the new Jim Crow. But tell me it's not happening. Tell me it's not so. Tell me it's not happening. Oh, Jesus, no, a people chained, their culture maimed by the collateral consequence of white indifference. Oh, but what matters collateral when collateral settles the score? Collateral's the very essence of our war. Our war on drugs. Our war on terror. Our war on liberty. Sister Liberty, and plenty more. For or against? Against or for? Oh, but I am resolutely against. For this is the whitewash, the hemlock-filled chalice of consummate malice. White, the iniquitous story. White, the color of old glory. White! The color of democracy, white, the color 
of the death mask. A black man in the White House. But what strange fruits, what blood on the roots, that here a people once stripped of their Eden now be stripped of their flesh, that they might be invisible, disappeared through the callous expedience of color blindness. And there, there, but for the grace of God, whose face is painted white, go I, go you, go we, bedeviled with lies of race and the insidious deceits of cultural hegemony. God bless. America. Oh, America, give me values free of your ticker tape psychosis, free of your jingoistic prattle, free of your terrible mission. Give me justice, which is not the searing spite of your revenge. Give me peace which is not the product of war, nor dependent upon it. Give me hope, where now there is only despair, a future which is not your loathsome crusade. Give me freedom, where now there is only servitude. Give me face, where facelessness has become the norm. Give me music, which feeds the soul, rather than stealing from it. Give me time which is not measured by the scourge of your deadly dollar. Give me the honesty of considered reason rather than the cheap escape of glib rationalization. Give me those who truly sung your praise, yet whose heritage you now defile. <coughs> Whitman, Steinbeck, Ginsberg, Pollock and Rothko, Ayla and Coltrane, that they might sing again of a love supreme. O America, give me your philosophers, that we might fly high together above the cuckoo's nest of your insanity. Give me the madmen, the outsiders, the hustlers and the beats who you so decry, then give me your own tired, your own poor, your own huddled masses yearning to breathe free. But give me also those from across the planet who you have enslaved with your cheap morality and your military might, and we will wait. Give the homeless tempest tossed to me, and we will cluster tight together and stand apart from you. For until you heal yourself, I can offer none of these a hope.